Hey everybody, my name is Flubscher and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode we went to Toy Town Galaxy, played with a few toys, destroyed some few toys, some of them had moles in them. And in this episode, we're going to finish off the kitchen by finishing off Ghostly Galaxy with the proper coin comment. This is in orbit, we could see. Purple coins in the bone pan. So, this is a town one. With more than a hundred coins in them. Try to get most of them in a minute. It's a bit more difficult than it seems. So. Let's go to the left side first. Alright. Oh no. Uh, you, I don't think you can hide from falling off the map. You always go down back to the main planet, so no worries about that. Just worry about getting enough coins. Is why I am concentrating right now to. Alright, don't get stuck on between two meets. If you get if you get stuck, don't even bother. Just just stop going there. Just change your path, and I don't think I'm going to make it. No, I'm not going to get it in two seconds. Yeah, no. Crap. So the star spawns in the middle of the stage. Which is handy to know. Make you able to play a time and things. If you don't want to get a game over, make sure to grab the one up every time. And to be fair, getting a game over is not that big of a deal. I mean, you won't lose any progress, at least not in this stage. If you were in the stage with a checkpoint, you would lose progress, but we are not. Right, we're getting stuck in the teammates, this is not going well. Make more stop I guess. Come on, grab this. There's five more. And there's none in my way, god damn it. Alright then, this is going to be a bit more difficult than I hoped for. Especially trying to commentate over it. It will seem probably like 60% of my concentration. Trying to keep things entertaining is difficult. Even when you're thinking that you're actually pretty much failing at keeping people entertained. Well, as long as I keep myself entertained, I think it's fine. Grab this full star. Fuck sake, Mario. Grab the one at the bottom, then you idiot. It's just the one controlling the game. Alright, none of those scores grabbed. Oh, fuck, fuck, grab the thing! Okay, okay. I. Good to make this. Not if he stops right there. I was letting go. The momentum should have pushed him forward. Then I would have made it, but he didn't. For fuck's sake. Alright. Attempt 4, I think, already. 
Yep, stop bouncing. that all of the cool stars are activated at all times so and don't have to be in range. Which is something different actually. Um, I got 5 seconds to make it there. What the fuck sake he used momentum! Alright then, attempt number 5. Please don't let this be the whole episode. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we used the bonus for that. Good. Grab the one up, just doing the outer ring first. Oh, for fuck's sake. I got next to it. Yes, thanks, meat. It bounced me right into place. Alright, so it can be a tricky purple coin star, but with that, we have completed the kitchen. Time to say goodbye to this place. Oh, I actually wanted to check the map. Um, hello kitchen, welcome back. Yeah, the map, thanks. Alright. I think we've got everything in Toys and Galaxy. Time to... Head to the garden then. <coughs> Alright. Now let's see what's in the garden. I honestly don't really remember the Galaxy in the garden. I'm having a bit of a difficult to remember in uh, late game parts of every game actually, so... Uh, here we have a shortcut. So we don't have to go all the way up, climb the bookcase, go into that teleport teleporter. Just one way back and done. So be sure to grab that. Hello Hungry Luma, well, replacement of the Hungry Luma, I guess. Yeah, have a tiny house. Hello, this is the gate. Well, this planet should look familiar. This is the first planet, not counting our own home planet first alien planet that we've been on. So yeah, it's very calming. And there is something to do here, if I'm correct. Rosalina's here. Hello, I don't used to hear, sorry. <coughs> this planet is very dear to me. I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumos every 100 years. So, so now I've stolen it. The Lumos that's been traveling with you may also go up to become a star someday. 
Some lumens become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them, while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Oh! Rosalina! No! Wow! Mama must really trust you! Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you earn my task too. Red stars hold the power of the red lumas. But the really amazing part about them is, they allow you to fly. As you spin in the air, you, you, you start fly. I didn't really rest. While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the joystick. If you can collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my powers somewhere else. So yeah, this suit is freaking amazing and cool looking. Shake, and we can fly all day. You start floating around. And then. Choose your direction, so it's a 100 purple coin mission, but it's a bit more special. Thanks to this power up. This honestly make it more fun. Because well, you're flying. You have free control. There is a time limit, a time limit on your battle. You can also shake the Wii remote to grab nearby coins they throw towards you and that's I mean look at this in the middle of this and then just shake it and all the coins go towards you so it's a quick easy star, it's a small planet as well there are plenty of stars also to refill your meter If you want to stop flying, press the C button. So just grab some more. See, there's a few on the other side here. Jump and spin. Jump and spin. Grab the ones on the structure. Is there a specific name for the structure? It's not really a tower. I don't know. If anyone knows, please tell me. Maybe a bit. No, not a pillar because a pillar supports supporting things. I don't know. Just maybe just platform. So there are a few Goombas here, which weren't here before, so they spawned after you talk to Rosalina. Bit dangerous, but oh well. Maybe you think that if this is part of the Comet Observatory in some way, then why are there enemies here? Just one more to go, that really went by fast. I didn't even realize I had one star to protect. Uh, one coin, I mean. Yeah! I love flying around. So let's collect the star by flying into it like a boss. And this is our first and only red star. With collecting the red star, it gives you the red star power up inside the Comet Observatory. So you're free to. Also, Hungry Doom appeared. Hello. Let's see. Alright, what do you have to say? Probably the one ups. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, let's see, it should be around here somewhere. I can't fully turn around. I think it's at the garage. Make me turn. I wanna see the garage. Yeah, there it is. So you break it, and you're able to fly pretty much around here anyway. Unfortunately, this is also the only place where you can fly around. It does allow you to grab this one up though. It doesn't allow you to fly anywhere else. 
bitch. It's kind of a shame. But oh well. I wanna can go there. Ah, uh, no, we can't. The flying just stops after a while. <coughs> Probably means that we've hit an uh, invisible wall. Uh, well, we had a we had a hungry Luma, so let's try to find. Oh, oh no! No! All right, we're going to run out. Yep. Yeah. Where is it going to bring us now? Back at the garage. No. All right. So it's fun flying around a bit, but it gets boring after a while. Because there is not a whole lot to do. Maybe it would have been fun if they hit like a hidden star around the Comet Observatory, like they did in Super Mario 64 with hidden stars around the castle. Like, I don't know, like find five silver stars that's hidden in the grass. Like, maybe, for example, one under this platform here. I think that would have been a fun idea, actually. And we would also get some use. Oh god, you can't make me broke. It also gives more use to the red star. But hey. With the red star you can get the one up at the bottom of this home. And at top of the covered observatory at the very peak. And which gets the level at? The Boo's Boneyard. Well, I guess we're not done with the Hound team yet. Raising the Spooky Speedster. That's a weird skull shape. What happened? What happened to this person? He has like a... piece coming out of the, the top of his head, like a... Oh no, is that right word? Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to assume that that was the right word I used, and nobody's, nobody can tell me anything different. So we're Boom Mario once again. Hello, you spooky fuck. You dead fucker. <laughs> so you're after it too. You'll have to waste me for it. Being fake as always what about what it is. <laughs> Here we go. That's my line. Give it back. So this time we're raising him as a boo. Pretty easy. Just fall down. Don't try to be fancy by going for the one up. I mean, of course you can, but... Oh, okay. Where's this one? Grab that to make the air blow. These are strange, they don't hurt you. They just bite you around and... Being annoying for most of the time. But folks will be back. Shake when needed to pass through the spooky gates. And here's the fish. And this is pretty cool, some. Some spikes on the ground with a lot of skeletons. Oh well. That's an easy start, cat. Take it already. And that's another galaxy completed. That's going by pretty fast. Now, well, first before I'm going to end this episode, I want to see some test something out. Because the first star you got the big grand star that started out the whole adventure. I think we can go back to that now. I think. There is a way to do that grand star again. But I'm not sure how. I don't remember exactly. 
I do think it's through this door, to the crate. Kate. Yeah, I was right. Gateway Galaxy. Here we have Grand Star Rescue, which that's the first one we got, and the Gateway's Pop Coins. So if you ever want to do the first uh, mission again, go to Gateway Galaxy. If you ever want to fly around that first planet again, go to Gateway's Pop Coins. And with that, I will end the episode. In the next episode, uh, I'm going to check if there are purple coins in the other areas. If not, then we will guys see you. Wait, wait which bit? Teleport? Yeah, this one. I will see you guys in the new dome, which is the garden. It's a secret room. Not really secret, if you ask me. Ooh, a teleporter. Before I leave, hit this. Oh, I don't want to be teleported. Alright. So, yeah, next time I will see you guys all in the, all the galaxy, all in the garden. Goodbye.